furnace. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Pennsylvania plates too. Uh, I'll see what he used. Looks like he used 20 bucks. Cheap ass. We're gonna take more than that over here. Oh my god, listen to that. That sounds incredible. Welcome to 741. It is 8.56 p.m. and something that I ordered on December 6th finally showed up. I ordered these on a Thursday in my first year experience class at Kent. And I thought, oh, well, you know what? There's a bunch of these bulbs on eBay. How about I not order those because they're all in the UK and they'll take forever to get here. I'd like to get them sooner. So I ordered those thinking they'd be there within their two to three day shipping. T Ten business days later, I sent them an email. What the hell? They say, oh, well, it's Christmas. Just wait. They'll show up. Just wait. Well, they showed up today on the 22nd, so like two and a half weeks it took to get these things from somewhere in the States. Not that big of a deal, but they are the clear silver vision bulbs for my rear turn signals. If you remember, when I put in those tail lights in June, uh, they came with the orange bulbs. And being as anal as I am, I hate the way the orange bulbs look. It looks like they're burnt out and you see two orange spots in the back of the car. Um, so I replaced them with another set of these. Then I got my new headlights. It was the same thing. You can see the orange bulb through the um, turn signals in the front of the car. And that's not acceptable. So I swapped the ones from the back into the front so I could see what that looked like. And then ordered new ones for the back. Isn't this tedious? And now they're here. So let's do a little before after if you can see anything in this dark garage. There would be the orange bulb. And there would be the clear one. 30 second install DIY just makes it look like it's not dead from the back. And when you get, there's the old one still. If you get further away from the car, it's a lot more obvious. You can still somewhat see a bulb in there and it still lights up orange, so it's legal. But that's the difference. I don't know if it was worth the wait, but now they're here, so they're going in. And they both work. Friggin' right. Hey guys, how's it going? It's 1.41 in the morning. I just talked to Colt for a little bit. I've been talking on and off with Bobby. Um, it is colder as frick outside, but it's 40 in the garage, so I actually decided to get the salt off the car, and I'll show you what I mean by get the salt off the car. Now, usually I say, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just, just gonna rinse it off, and then I end up soaping it, and then I rinse it off again, and then I end up drying it, and then it ends up getting Zeno. Well, I was realistic this time. I washed it except for drying it because it's the roads are still shit, so the salt is off. I only dried the windshield and the side mirrors. Everything else is wet, but it's it's clean. I mean, it's damn near perfectly clean. I didn't really detail the wheels or exhaust. I just took a, a soapy sponge to them and then rinsed it off. But it's clean. I also cleaned up the floor a little bit. I'll have to get some uh, brake clean or something to get my carbon out of there. But it's definitely a lot better than it was. So that's about it for today. I apologize I didn't film anything in Silver Lake at the grandparents' house today. It was just uh, just busy. A little bit more wrapping. A little bit more. Christmas prep, Christmas is in two days. How the hell is Christmas in two days? How the hell is December, is 2012 over in like 10 days? This is less than 10 days, it's the 23rd, holy crap. There are three, seven days left in this year. That's ridiculous. Anyways, that's it for today. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Sunday.